Hi, this is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio, here to talk to you about uh, Pythagorean triples activity. If you would like the information on this, this is the website right here, and it is case sensitive, capital N and capital G are necessary. This activity is designed to have students discover that one triangle could contain more than one Pythagorean triple. It should be a class activity. The teacher can read the directions, have students follow along, or if you have TI Inspire software or handhelds, you can have a, give them this file and have them work along with the PDF that's at this website. Let's go. So this is the first figure here. Notice it says 90 degrees and you're asked to find the lengths of X and Y. So uh, pause the video as needed and then re, uh, resume when you've got the values for X and Y. All right, so it turns out that uh, this is a 7, 24, 25 Pythagorean triple, so that's the value for Y. Uh, this is related to the 5, 12, 13, except everything is doubled, so it's a 10, 24, 26 right triangle. Press pause as needed. Here we have another altitude drawn to this side right here. Uh, we're asked to find three lengths. We're told that this is 13, this whole side is 14, and this is 15. Press pause as needed. Resume when ready. So it turns out um, that in order for this to be, be triples here, um, this has to be a 5, 12, 13 triangle right here. So R is 12. And so this is 3 times 5, 12 is 4 times 3, 4 times 3, um, 3 times 4, and so this must be 3 times 3. So this is 9, this is 5, adds up to 14. Press pause as needed. So here we have actually three triangles, but two of them are right triangles. This is a right angle here. Even though it doesn't say it, it is given, it will give it as a right angle. So go ahead and find the lengths of C and D. Press pause as needed. So again, this is a 7, 24, 25. And then uh, be another Pythagorean triple is a 5, 12, 13. If you double everything, it would be a 10, 24, 26. So there's our 24, there's our 26. This has got to be 10, so C has got to be 3. Press pause as needed. The second part of this talks about Pythagorean triple generators. There are several formulas out there that will generate Pythagorean triples. This is one of them. So given C being the length of hypotenuse and AB the length of the legs, if as A is odd greater than one, then this is how you find the other leg and this is how you find the hypotenuse. So given an odd number, substitute in there. So normally what I would do is have, have students do this by hand, pick an odd number, uh, generate the three numbers, and have them verify that, that truly is a Pythagorean triple. Press pause as needed. So to check this out, I created a, a spreadsheet to do this, and I, I, gener I put in column A, odd numbers, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. In column B, when I plug here, you can see it's whatever A is squared minus 1 all divided by 2. That generated these numbers. And the hypotenuse was generated by A, whatever A is squared plus 1 divided by 2. Then to check, I typed in A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If this squared plus this squared equals this squared, then it says true. Otherwise, it says false. So we'll kind of just go down here and see what we've got here. So I've got those seem to all be true there. And if I wanted to, I can even uh, generate um, more odd numbers here. So um, let me type in, um, I want a sequence of numbers, x comma x comma 3 to, let's say, 99 in steps of 2. And so now it generated a whole bunch of odd numbers, and notice 
that all of them seem to be true. Press pause as needed. A second Pythagorean triple generator, uh, given that E is some even number, uh, A is twice E, and this is how you find B, and this is how you find C. Again, I would have students uh, choose an even number, generate A, B, and C, show that it's a Pythagorean triple, and then we'll go ahead and go to a spreadsheet and see how that actually looks. So here, um, I let E be two, so here's my A, here's my B and my C, and notice it's the three, four, five, but in a different order, and it seems to be true. And eight, 15, 17, and I have a few of them in there, but I could go ahead back and generate a whole bunch of even numbers for column A and see that it's true. By the way, you'll notice here I had to go column B plus column, column B squared plus column C squared equals D squared. I couldn't use a traditional A, B, and C because A had the value for E. So if you're interested in this, this is the um, teacher notes PDF that goes along with this at the website. Shows you step by step how to run this in your classroom or to give it to your students to do. And you'll notice at the very end it does show the uh, website to find this information. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.